up y'all welcome back to another video today i'm gonna go to a co-working space and get some work done i don't know fully what i'm gonna work on today but i'm hopeful that it'll be a productive day this week's been good i did a lot of work for my day job this week i've been really trying to put in some extra time to work on some cooler projects i really want the company to want to invest the time into the projects so i've been trying to just get them to a good spot to where i can demo them so they can see the value I feel like it's easier to sell that stuff if you've kind of done some of the legwork up front. But with that, I haven't had a bunch of time to work on my personal projects. So that's what I want to do today. I don't know what I'm going to work on yet, though. I'm going to a co-working space. It's a cool spot, and I'm just going to try to get some stuff done. I've been working on this smaller app. I think I told you guys in the last video I wanted to make a really small, quick app that it's just kind of fun and lets me experiment with something. I've been working on a vocab word of the day app where you can just literally swipe through and just learn different words. And also one where it'll send you push notifications for different words. There's a ton of these apps out there and I downloaded a few of them, but they're personally more expensive than I would want to pay for just a word of the day app. Some of them are like five bucks a month. To me, it's not worth that much. So I want to put out one that can be a little bit cheaper and so I can help people learn without breaking the bank. For those of you who are new, my name is James and I've been a software developer for the past seven years. And on this channel, I just share some of my life and the projects I work on and I just take you guys with me. You guys should download some of the projects that I build, by the way, you know, show your boy some support. I don't know what to call this vocab app. I'm thinking about something stupid like vocabby or something like that, I don't know. I suck with names, but I want it to be simple. The logo is just gonna be a V. And I found some other app that I like the design of it. They take like a TikTok, Instagram Reels approach where you just swipe up to get a new word. I really like that. Makes it easy to just get through a lot of words. So that's probably what I'll work on today. So today was good. I got a lot done. I'm going to go over quickly what I worked on today. Like I said, I wanted to build the vocab app. So I went through the app store and I found some popular ones and I took from them what I liked. One of the big things I liked is the simple design. And I really like the mechanism for getting new words by just scrolling. As you can see, you just scroll to get new words, kind of like TikTok and Instagram. I'm not trying to steal an idea here. I'm just using it as inspiration and I'm not going to copy exactly what these apps are doing but I'm taking some of the features and I'm just gonna put them into a smaller package. Some of these apps are charging like $5 a month. I think that's too much for the value that it's giving. So this is gonna be less features and it will be cheaper. So the way I did it, if anybody cares about the code, we have a swipeable word view. I have the scroll view here with the vertical stack where I'm showing each of the words. 
and my word action buttons, which are these guys down here. I put them on the side to be kind of like Instagram and TikTok where you have the action buttons at the bottom right. And this button here would open this bottom sheet where you can switch between your favorites or just all words. Notice it's the same view. So it's a very simple app. It's just one view. If you have multiple favorites and you go back in here, you can just swipe through your favorites. I think I'm going to change this to be a loop though. So that way, when you get to the bottom, you don't have to scroll up and it just keeps going. Honestly, that's really it. We have the share feature here as well, where you can share the word. It's just going to share the word and the definition with the example in raw text. Maybe later we can enhance that, but right now that's all we're doing. I'm not loading anything from a database right now. I literally just have the vocab as a JSON. And I think that's how I'm going to start. I think maybe I'll have like maybe a couple thousand words in the beginning and just start like that just to make it easier to launch, right? I don't have to worry about an, a database and connecting with anything. And also I kind of want to push this out of everything is on the user's device. So we have view models and this is where I'm fetching all of the words, storing them. I'm keeping the scene words. What word am I currently on? I'm loading from the file. So very simple app. And that's kind of it for today. I was hoping to get farther today, but I had some issues with navigation. So I want to finish this up and push it out. I need to do revenue cat and all of that stuff. But so far, it looks pretty good. That's pretty much it for today, I think. Right now, I'm going to cook some dinner with my girlfriend, and then we're going to have a game night with some friends. Maybe I'll get a workout in, but I don't know, because I'm kind of injured. So, peace. Oh, there is no 